we are going to go ahead and review Avira antivirus software. This is the page where you can download a 30 day free trial. I will post a link on the description of this video for this page here. So you can go ahead and get the 30 day trial and try it like we're going to try it today. All right. So once you uh, go to this page, the download should automatically start. If it doesn't click up here where it says click here, you will see the download pop up when you click there. And depending on what browser you're using, go ahead and uh, continue with the download. Once you download and install Avira, this is what it looks like here. All right, really easy to use. Um, it's going to start out right now, right off the bat from the status page here. It's going to tell you that you're secure. If it's red or a different color than green, it means you need to update it. So what you got to do is go down here and click right here where it says start update. And click on that, and that'll start the update. Let's go ahead and minimize it while it updates the program. All right, now here you have some switches. Right now, real-time protection is on. If it's green, it means it's on. You can click on it to deactivate it, which I don't recommend. It's good to leave all this green. And uh, the game mode for this antivirus program, if you're a gamer, it'll automatically set itself to game mode, which will lose, I mean, it will use less resources when you're gaming, all right? So that's really cool. I like I like that the game mode is automatic and you don't have to come here and turn it off every time you got a game. You could just start your game knowing that Avira is automatically going to go to game mode. So that's awesome right there. Let's go ahead and take a look at the system scanner button here. Now, if you notice, the uh, system scanner is a little more advanced. This program is actually made for people uh, that are a little more um, comfortable using software because there's really no big scan button like I've seen in other antivirus programs. But just, just to scan it, go ahead and click on local drives and then click on the little scan uh, uh, magnifying glass here. You click on that and it should start the scan. Might take a while. It's taking a while here. There it goes. All right. And the scan is going to start here in a bit. It takes a while to start. Let's go ahead and minimize it for now. And you can go ahead and select to uh, to scan your removable drives. For example, if you have a USB, you can scan that, uh, your directory, all of that. But if, if you select local drives here in the top, that should scan everything, actually. All right. Now we take a look at the real-time protection button here. Here you could see the in real time what the program is doing. It's constantly scanning files. Whatever you're looking at, it's looking at it. That's what's really cool about Avira. It looks at the at the files that you're actually using. If you have a program open, it'll be looking at it. All right. You can cl click up here to display reports, and you can get a detailed report on Notepad. All right. The firewall is always on automatically. You can change that by clicking over here on the configuration button. You can change it here, disable it, enable, uh, block incoming connections. You can edit everything there. It does have web protection. All right, it's constantly protecting you on the web, constantly protecting you from mail when you use email on the web. What's really cool about this program is you can actually uh, do, you can actually protect your kids by tracking them on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, all of that. Of course, you need to actually buy the program and log in to use this. But it's really cool. It'll tell you uh, an alert level here. I think it goes by um, by bad words, full language, stuff like that. Um, that's where the alert level goes up. Whatever they're doing, it detects automatically if it's bad or not. All right. And they also have an Android app. You can download it here. Uh, from here or you could just go I recommend you just go on your actual phone and look for Avira look for the app and once you have a once you actually buy the program you'll have a login you'll have an account with them and you just log in from your phone and you should be able to use it alright just like any other program uh, you can look at the quarantine uh, viruses I recommend if a virus does get quarantined is you delete it right away okay you don't want to have a virus quarantined even though you think that you're safe it's not good. All right. Now let's go ahead and talk about the scheduler here. Right now it's set to scan every 168 hours. If you want to actually set it for whatever time you want, go ahead and disable it by unchecking this box. Click on the little plus button up here. Let's go ahead and name this test scan. 
description of job. Uh, we're going to do a weekly scan schedule. All right. So go ahead and fill that out. Click next. Scan job. Click next. Local drives. That's good. Click next. And I'm going to go ahead and select weekly. I recommend you do this weekly. I recommend you do an automatic scan scan on Sunday at nine or at night anytime you want at night on Sundays because that's usually when um, when the computer is uh, is not being used for a lot of people all right and if you wanted to repeat week after week go ahead and select this box here all right let's click next and the display go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and choose minimize I like to I like Avira to tell me that it's scanning all right and shut down when, when the job is done. So once it's done scanning and deleting, if it does find a virus, it'll delete it automatically. Um, you can select to shut it down. All right, that's it. Click finish. And there we go. Now we got a schedule here for uh, scan every week at Sunday. Or up here at 9 p.m., which is awesome. All right. So that's how you schedule scans. And if you want to look at reports, like all the updates, it's saying right here update was successful so the update we were doing looks like it was successful and there is the update actually that's the scan we were doing it didn't update it I see here because we're using the free trial you can't free you can't update the free trial is what I'm seeing here alright but once you buy the if you decide to buy the program this is where you're gonna see all the reports all the updates and scans or viruses that it finds. You can also click on events and you can see everything that's going on. Every event that's happened throughout the lifetime of the program, you can see the date here. So it's really easy to use. Like I said, the only uh, hard part I see about using this program is the scanner. It can be a little confusing if you don't know much about computers. Uh, just go ahead and click on local drives if you're going to scan and that should do it. I should do the scan. All right. Other than that, it's a very simple program to use. Uh, it works very well. Um, I give it a good review. Like I said, the only thing I don't like about it is the scanner. It's a little, it's a little complicated to use. Not complicated, but just really. Um, they should have a scan button here somewhere. All right. This is this is a little confusing having it like this. But that's the only bad thing I, I can find. Uh, I give it a good review because it has the social networks um, monitor. And a lot of antivirus programs don't have this. So that's why I give Avira a good review. If you're looking for, this is a perfect antivirus program for if you have kids. Because you can actually track where they're at and everything. Alright. So thanks for watching. Hopefully I've helped you out if you're trying to find a, an antivirus program suitable for kids. Or that does what I just showed you that this one does. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to, to subscribe to my channel for more uh, soft, antivirus software reviews. Like the video and have a good rest of your day. If you subscribe, I'll subscribe back.